you're here with us on Morning Express. Today happens to be the sixth day of October 2015. It's time for us to uh, look at our person of interest. Remember, the hashtag is person of interest. And you can also tweet or let me know if you have any questions for our person of interest this morning. And the Twitter handle is at Michael G. Gitonga. Now, our person of interest is one who may not need a huge introduction to many of you because you've seen him. And uh, just for the benefit of those who may not know, it is Honorable Aidan Dwale, who is the leader of majority in Parliament and also the member of Parliament for Garissa Township. Thank you for joining us, sir. Thank you, Michael. And welcome to our studio. Let's start, first of all, with just getting to know who Aidan Dwale is. We see him out there, but uh, Aidan Dwale, of course, is, is who is he? Away from the cameras. Adin Dwale is a member of parliament for Garissa Township. Um, I was born in Garissa in 1969 um, to, uh, to a pastoralist family. My father was, uh, my late father was uh, um, a Kamen Hada. Uh, my mom is uh, 87 years old. She's a very hard working lady. She's the one who brought us up. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm married. I have five uh, sons. My first born is uh, 20 years in the university. Um, my second born is doing form for this year in Mango High School, mm -hmm. and my third born is in Alliance Boys, and mm -hmm. I stay with the two young ones. Okay. Who are in Arakan. Well, fantastic. So, yeah. so where did you grow up? Did you grow up in Nairobi, in Garissa? No, I grew up in Garissa. I went to uh, Garissa High School, uh, went to a boys' town primary school in Garissa Town. I went to Garissa High School uh, for my uh, uh, form one to form four, then uh, came to Moy Forces Academy. Mm. Um, for my Form 5 and Form 6. Uh, it's one of the schools that shaped me. We were, uh, and I was, I mean, I was one of the very few students uh, who were not uh, from uh, the military background. Mm -hmm. You know, my first ac academy was more, by then, right. a school for the military, uh, 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 children from the military families. Mm -hmm. So about, I think, 2-3% of us were from uh, outside uh, the, the military, military and you are one of those who are not from a military yes, background. Yes, so that school <coughs> shaped, uh, it, was a very, it was a school with high discipline. Mm -hmm. So I can say it's one of the schools that shaped me. Mm -hmm. uh, from there I went to uh, NYS. Then I was the last batch of the NYS. Mm -hmm. Just before you go to campus? To, uh, before I went to campus. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, we used to do the morning drills in the cold hills of Gilgil. Mm -hmm. I finished and then went to Moy University. Uh, did my first degree. Um, in, I did uh, economics, mm -hmm. uh, which was my major. Then I uh, joined a family business. Mm -hmm. I worked briefly with uh, international NGOs like USID in northern Kenya. Joined business and then 2007 I joined politics. And uh, my party of choice then was ODM. Mm -hmm. And um, Midway, I, I won the, 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 the election of 2007. By then, that constituency was called uh, Dujis. It was 6,800 uh, square kilometer. Mm -hmm. It was the smallest constituency in northeastern province. But in terms of other constituencies in Kenya, it was still very, very large. Okay. So Midway, uh, in that grand coalition government of 2008, 2013, mm -hmm. Uh, I uh, served as the Assistant Minister for Livestock briefly uh, between 2008 to 2010 when uh, a number of us led by the current Deputy President uh, decided uh, to differ in terms of ideology with our party by then, ODM, and our party leader, Honorable Boraila Odinga. So we were, uh, we were relieved of our duties. Uh, a number of us, uh, both as assistant ministers and uh, ministers. And and this was mainly because you differed in ideology? Of course, yes. I think that our differences was ba basically on ideology, how the party was run, mm -hmm. uh, uh, democratic space within our, within our family as ODM. Mm -hmm. So we took a walk uh, in terms of uh, parties. We were called uh, rebels uh, between 2009 to 2011. Uh, we had a transition from ODM, those of us, to another party called UDM. Mm -hmm. Halfway around 2011, 
we were again uh, told you are not members of UDM, you guys are as, <laughs> as quotas. You are as quotas, you are yes, part of it. Before, we, 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 before yeah. we go deeply yeah. into your political so I, we, career. We, so from there we went to and formed the United Republican Party, mm -hmm. uh, which um, we marketed it and uh, somewhere in 2012 late, we formed a coalition with the president, uh, TNA, who was our very good friend. And uh, today I think uh, we are happy, we have uh, 76 members of parliament, uh, 76 members of, of the National Assembly, mm -hmm. we have 10 senators, we have 10 governors, and... Uh, so you are sitting pretty well, so politically speaking. So the road was very bumpy, very now, rough, but... Uh, did you ever see yourself getting into politics as you were growing up? Is that something you, en you envisioned? No, I did, I did, because um, m my political activism started uh, way back when I was in the university, mm -hmm when I was in, uh, in, in high school mm -hmm. and uh, I all along felt that um, I think politics was, uh, was necessary in terms of transforming uh, the lives of the people. Mm -hmm. So by then uh, uh, what brought me to politics basically was not even uh, anything else but to make uh, an impact, a change in the lives of the people of Duji's constituency then and Garissa Township mm -hmm. and I can tell you uh, very pretty from where I sit that mm -hmm. uh, today if I retire you know uh, I can say I've left a legacy in that constituency 